Believe it or not, being a small YouTuber does have its advantages. And well, if you are a small YouTuber, don't take that for granted. Did you tell them? Screw you. <laughs> I remember where they're going. I ended my run this morning on the beach. That was an accident. And now my whole right leg is just, um, feels weird. We're at breakfast now. I'm in California where I live, but I have my life. Getting coffee now at this uh, this car wash. <sighs> Believe it or not, being a small YouTuber does have its advantages, and uh, and well, if you are a small YouTuber, don't take that for granted. I think a lot of times, and I think this is a natural thing, but a lot of times, whenever you you start something, you immediately want to see want to see results. Whether it be exercising or studying for a test or learning something new or growing on YouTube or anything like that. But like everything in life, there are pros and cons to starting something new and uh, it's no different when you're trying to grow a YouTube channel or grow a social media presence or, or anything like that and that's something that I've kind of always like told myself but I didn't actually believe it until I started seeing more growth and videos that I've made get more more attention and with that there's a lot of really nice comments but at the same time there's also those those comments that aren't uh, aren't so aren't so nice There's a lot of freedom that comes with having a small YouTube channel. You don't really get when you have a large audience, um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. When you have a larger audience, people kind of expect something from, from you, and you become known for a specific thing, or style, or subject, or whatever. And if you don't deliver on that, then there's the chance that you're gonna have some kind of pushback. It's just easier to stay in that vein and not deviate from that much. When you have a smaller YouTube channel, you have the freedom to kind of experiment and try different things freely. Which is really nice. Keeps it fresh. You don't, there's not all that pressure to deliver an amazing video that hits right on the point of whatever your viewers uh, know you for. In fact, when you do start a YouTube channel, I would encourage you to try a bunch of different subjects, a bunch of different videos, both how you make the videos and the subject matter within the videos, um, to see what works and what you actually enjoy doing. Because at the end of the day, it's important that you enjoy whatever you're making and whatever kind of content that you're creating. Uh, because if you don't, then it's just, you're just gonna be you're gonna be miserable. That's what I did when I first started, and I've gone. <laughs> my YouTube channel, if you go way back, was originally drum covers, and then it become became drum related content, and then it slowly shifted with with my career. But it slowly shifted to um, to well, what it is now with cameras and and vlogging and, and stuff like that. All right. While I was doing that, Savannah walked down to the beach and kind of left me. So now I have to go find her. What is that noise? Four o'clock. It's the time of day where you're, you're just kind of awkwardly waiting around for dinner, uh, and everybody kind of does their own thing. Mostly, mostly sleep. I don't think I don't think I'm done this yet, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna go over what I actually brought with me on on this trip. There's like, <laughs> there's not much. There's not much in here because it's kind of all throughout. It's a drone, drone batteries, Insta360. I actually haven't used this yet. Batteries and this. 
SD cards, fight, protein bar, lens cap pouch, all this crap. It's like drum propellers and, and gaff tape and things like deodorant and earplugs, you know, the essentials. Now uh, now for, for the rest of the gear that's currently just all over this, <laughs> all over this room. My AirPod Max is for the plane and for, for editing. These are okay for editing. Uh, the Bluetooth latency is just enough to where you can't really cut in the moment. You have to like stop and then keyframe to wherever the beat is if you want exact cuts. They're great though, they sound great, it's just some Battery for chargers and uh, laptops, glasses, wallet, hard drive, chargers, shoes, card reader, hat, and Advil. You probably didn't need to know the majority of that, but uh... Savannah left to go, to go thrifting and didn't really say when she was gonna be back. We are having chili tonight. At least I know what I'm supposed to be eating. I just, I don't know when she's coming back.